So, uh, this is the brief lecture for Tuesday the 2nd of February for Ancient Medieval History. We have just finished a day and two-thirds of class looking at film. The point was to get a sense of how the Romans approached war. We'll start with the most recent scene and work our way backward. In the Navy battle scene from the movie Ben-Hur, which is a movie about a man who encounters Jesus in life and who uh, becomes a Christian uh, soon after the crucifixion, uh, you see a Jewish prince who has been reduced to the status of a galley slave, living a life which has a normal life expectancy of, of six months or less. And he's been in the galleys for three years. He is a living tool. If you want a picture of Roman slavery, there it is. You don't have any significance. You're kept alive to serve the ship. If you don't like it, die. That's the Roman's attitude. So uh, he basically gets a few hours off and then is back at the oars and then gets a few hours off to sleep. That's, that's what I mean by off. And they're fed minimally. Please make sure you have your notes out. So, um, the battle involves the slaves being chained because the slaves are part of the ship. This is incentive for them to roll well and live because if they don't roll well, <clears throat> they're going to die. Uh, the enemy is going to ram them or sink them or capture them or whatever. So, the chaining of slave, uh, galley slaves was normal. <clears throat> You'll notice the various speeds. There's rest, there's normal speed, there's attack speed, and there's ramming speed. And what the Roman uh, trip, uh, Arius, the Tribune, was trying to do was to test his ship's engine to see how well it will perform. He also wanted to get everyone, slaves, crew, everyone, to understand that this is a ship about to go into battle. And you'd better be ready to do what's necessary in battle. So he was willing to sacrifice the lives of a few slaves in order to get the rest of the slaves ready psychologically and more ready physically for the stresses of attack speed and ramming speed. Uh, I did notice that there were corvuses on both sets of ships. Uh, and actually when the Macedonian uh, ship was rammed, uh, or when the Macedonian ship, okay, there were two rammings. Uh, the, the hero ship crashed into a Macedonian ship and there was fighting. And then another Macedonian ship crashes into the hero ship and they drop a corvus down and they send troops across and it's fighting on the decks. So you did get a little chance to see what a corvus looked like. It's this big plank, it's ungainly, uh, and how it was used in battle. But once the fleets engaged, it became a melee. And melee is a French word from the Middle Ages for uh, fistfight. Basically, it's chaos. So the battle plan, to the extent it survives contact with the enemy, quickly breaks down as a bunch of individual ship combats take place. As to the war stuff, the land war stuff, the Romans are disciplined. Tomorrow, we will continue lecture. The quiz will either be on Thursday or Friday. Thank you. Come again.